Okay, in this video we're going to talk about the bread builder. And the bread builder allows us to create the browse, read, edit, add, and delete functionality for any table. So let's go ahead and go down to our products table that we just created in the last video. And we will click on add bread to this table. So then if we scroll down we see a display name which is product and display name plural which is products. We have a slug and then we also have this model name right here. So we need to create this model first. So let's go ahead and create that model. So I'm just going to say PHP artisan make model product. And now if I open this up, we should see inside of our app folder a new product model. So I can go ahead and create the bread since I have the model for our products table. And then we can also specify a custom controller if we would like. And then we can scroll down. And you can see the options that we have up here. We have generate permissions and we also have server side pagination. So sometimes if you have thousands of products or posts, it may be difficult to view all of them inside of the data table since it's gonna grab all of the posts or all of the products and it's gonna take a long time. So sometimes you may want to choose server side pagination. So now let's scroll down and you can see that we have the ID and we're just gonna set this to a type of hidden, but this is technically never gonna be shown inside of your edit or add. It's always just going to either edit or add the current ID. So then we'll scroll down to the name and we want this to be a text. And we can say if we want this to be on the browse, read, edit, add, or delete section. So say that we didn't want the image to be on the read section, we could take that off. And then when we click to view it, it will not be on the read section. So then let's go with the body. Let's say that we want this to be a rich text box. And the image, we obviously want this to be a type image. And we'll just leave created at and update it at. And then let's go ahead and create this bread. Okay, now that we've created that bread, if we go down, we can see the products and we can click here to browse the bread. And you can see that we get this action is unauthorized. And that's because by default, when you generate the permissions, you need to give the current user role that you have permissions. So let's go ahead and give permissions to my user to access the products bread. So if I go here, I'm an admin user. So I can click on edit. And if I scroll down, I can then click on products. So I want to be able to browse, read, edit, add, and delete products for any type of user that is an admin. Okay, now if I go back to the tools and the database, I can then scroll down and I can click on browse bread. And now you can see that I'm here at the products table where I can browse some of my products. So let me go back to the database and let me edit this bread. And you can see that we did not have an icon associated with this products. And we have an icon which is optional but let's go ahead and click on this. And these are the fonts that we can use inside of Voyager. So let's find one that might be fitting for a products. Maybe we have a shopping bag. Yeah, it looks like we have Voyager bag. So I'm just gonna copy that and paste that right in there. So then I scroll down and I click on submit. And now if I go to browse the products, you can see that we have this icon that kind of resembles what the products is. And you'll notice that we don't have the products over here on the left, and that's because we have not added that menu item. So just because you add bread to a table does not mean that it automatically adds it to the menu. So we can go ahead and do this just by going to the menu and then going to the builder. And now I can say that I want to add a new menu item and I can say products. And I'm just gonna keep this as a static URL. And I know that the URL is going to be slash admin slash products and then I can choose the icon class right there and click on update. And now if you see down here at the bottom, we now have this products that we can click on and we can be at the bread for the products table. So now let's go ahead and add a new product. So let's say we want to add new and you can see that we have this text box right here because we specified that the name row we want it to be a text box. So maybe I want this to be MacBook Pro. And then you can see that we have the body here, say MacBook. Pros are awesome. Here is a quick picture. And so now I can then bold any text if I wanted to. Uh, I could add links and I could even add images. So let me go ahead and add an image. So I can say that I want to upload a new image from my desktop and I will click on open and then I will press okay. And now you can see that we have this image right here inside of the rich text box. So then we can also choose to maybe add a video if we wanted, or we could even add maybe an animated GIF. So let me go ahead and look for MacBook Pro. And I'll just choose any one of these, so I'll go ahead and select that. 
and say insert into post. And now you can see that we have that GIF inside of the post as well. So you can do anything that you normally would be able to do inside of a rich text box right here. And then whenever you reference the body for the products, you'll be able to display it on the front end of your site. So then going down, we do have an image that is going to be the image for this MacBook Pro product. So let's go ahead and open that up and let's save this. And now you can see that we have the name, we have the body right here, and we have the created at, and we have the image right there. So now if we go back to edit, then sure enough, we have all the content that we normally had in there, and we have the image right here as well. So let's go ahead and save that. And then we can also delete this, or we could click on view, and it will give us a view representation. And as you can see, we do not see the image there because we specified that we do not want to see the image on the read view. So then if we go back into tools, database, and we go to edit our bread for the products. And now we want to say we want to read the image. When we view the product, we want to be able to show the image. So now let's go back and click to browse products and we click on view. And now if I scroll down, sure enough, you can see that we have the image there. So that is just the very basics about how you can add bread to your table. You can now see that we can browse products, we can read products, we can edit products, we can add new products, and we can also delete products. So this was just the very basics about adding bread to a table. In a future video, we will have more advanced options that will show you some of the really cool stuff that you can do with bread advanced options.